Good morning guys, it's currently like 6.15. Happy October 1st. I can't believe it. I'm actually like annoyed. <laughs> uh, oh, look at my little baby. Hey little girl, it's October 1st. It's October little girl. You look like a little monkey. Good morning, Nelly girl. Good morning. Is it time to get up, little girl? Oh, good girl. Oh, yeah. Look at those bottom teeth. Look at this messy. You look messy, girl. Is that hair in the way? Aww. Okay, so I've been up since 5 a.m. Shoulda, coulda, woulda did a 5 a.m. morning routine. I wish I was as tired as you. So yesterday, my parents left early for the airport. They woke me up. Now I'm probably gonna wake up early for the next few days. I figured after getting up at 5 yesterday, I would have slept, but maybe I'll try to go to bed late. Anyways, it is October 1st. I wanted to film the first week, a weekly vlog in October. I really wanted to get a pumpkin chai. Um, I've never had them before, but the best drink ever. If you watch my podcast, you would know the pecan crunch with oat milk. It is so good. I've yet to have it warm. I mean, it is a fall drink still. It's the newest fall drink. And I guess another day this week I could get the pumpkin chai latte. Oh, that sounds so good. I like want both. What do you think? What do you think, little girl? What are you thinking of my hand? She wants to get up. That's my Nelly voice. I'm thinking I want to get up. Do your little stretch. Good girl. Back leg, other leg. Run free. Oh, if you guys think I'm kidding, it's pitch freaking blackout. All right, I'm gonna order the Starbucks drink and then we're gonna go get it. It's really pissing me off that I'm not getting the pumpkin, but like, I can't just always be for the plot, Billy. So you're making the right choice. And also when I type in pumpkin chai tea, only cold comes up and I definitely want hot right now. Nine times out of 10, I'm getting cold, but I like hot first thing in the morning. Fall vibes ahead. What time does Starbucks open? The pumpkin chai tea latte. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Let's check the calories. That is 460 calories. I hope my drink isn't calorie dense. Oh, 270. Oh, I guess I can get something pumpkin-y. This drink is 690. I normally just get like espresso, so like I'm shocked by these numbers, but I guess that's probably normal. I feel like Paige DeSorbo once said like the pumpkin bread was good, but I find that hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Do I get a mummy cookie? Totally. Okay, yeah, next time I'll get the pumpkin loaf, which is probably not good. I'll get that with the pumpkin chai. They need to bring back the vanilla danish. It's such a damn sin. Okay, just got a free cookie place, so. Fucking love that noise. Ah. Uh, and that noise. I'm the only one that likes this freaking candle. I could smell it from here. It's so pretty. This episode is an episode. Yes. It's funny at times. <laughs> Sorry. I don't. I yeah. No, it is funny at times, and yeah. it, I, it's a good episode. It's like, it's like different. Oh, he would make something delectable. I feel beans on toast. Perhaps.
Okay. Let's just try this bitch. I didn't even get into. I have the busiest YouTube schedule this week. I'm reacting to four shows, one movie, five reactions, on top of wanting to stay on top of writing my book, which is going so well, doing my 30 minute workout, and my podcast. Yesterday we filmed, I edited, and uploaded it. It comes out Wednesday. I feel so good. Got that like out of the way for the week. And then I'm adding the weekly vlog in the mix, so lots happening but it's exciting i like being busy damn this is so good i might like the cold one better but it, i just needed something warm like it's, i've been up since five and how adorable is this how freaking cute Don't really recommend that. All right, time to go. I love you, little girl. Come in, come in. Cut to 9.55, I ended up going back to sleep, or like half asleep, so annoying. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm gonna have some turkey bacon, some eggs with onion, and baby spinach. While I listen to my book, they both die in the end. I'm really supposed to be doing like booktube content, but that's another thing I have to do this week, which I didn't even mention. I think I have to get that video out even before this one, so I have a lot to do. So mad that I woke up before 5 a.m. and then I couldn't go back to sleep and then I'm sitting on the couch drinking my coffee to wake up and like I doze off and I'm like, it's too early for this. So I went to lay down and most of the time it was, I was spending it trying to sleep. So I'm gonna eat this, probably watch some Darling De Desi, she posted a new book recommendation video and then I'm gonna react to Morgan Friedman movie from 1989. It's requested on my big bad tier. I only have two slots and they're both taken, so that's really cool. I was worried like no one was even gonna care. Now I might be opening a slot, but I can't this month because too much is going on. Check out my Patreon, link is always below. Also, I have a YouTube, stop. Okay, um. Sorry, oh my god, sorry. I don't get a vote. Sorry. Okay, I'm about to react to this movie. This is my setup. I got, this is where I take my notes. And there's me over there at Disney. Behind the scenes. But yeah, if you prefer the YouTube edit, I appreciate you guys. But yeah, if you prefer the YouTube edit, I appreciate you guys so much. And yeah, let's get into it. It's recording, recording. Three, two, one, play. Your All right, good morning. I was talking to this guy on Hinge and it really bummed me out. How freaking cool is this? This is the nicest candle ever. I wanna give it to Rob from Love Island. Marry me here. Okay. Okay, this is a week in my life as a content creator, I guess. So I'm just gonna talk content and some personal nuggets, I guess. Actually, it is related to content creating and how 
it's hard as a content creator, especially a struggling one where you talk to someone on a dating app and they ask, what do you do? So I remember Manny MUA a while ago in a video saying he'll tell people he's a social media manager, which is technically not a lie because he's he manages himself and his own thing even if he has managers like to stop and my friend lex made me realize too you don't owe them shit to like tell them anything like who are they i get so nervous talking to someone to begin with because i'm already oh my god like i'm gonna be so nervous to go on a date <laughs> way before that's even a conversation because why else would i be talking to you i told him i was a content creator and he was like are you famous and I was jokingly like I was like so famous and then I was like kidding and it's weird to send people my stuff because a lot of it is personal to me like thinking that we were just gonna move on and he was like show me to me like I was like Ugh, I kind of like the kind of blunt like aggressiveness of it or not aggressive but he just said like show me whatever long story short I end up telling him my name he could look it up. If you listen to my podcast when I talked about like the top or bottom thing, dating profile, whether it's weird or not to put a top or bottom emoji, my point about that is just not supposed to be sexual just for compatibility reasons. Let's not waste each other's time. So I just went into that mindset. He's gonna see me, so I'm proud of the work that I do, and it's just like it would be nice for someone to meet me without my internet persona, even though I am that person. So a couple of hours later, I go back on the app. He's vanished. He must have looked me up, was like, no, and unfollowed and unmatched. I'm kind of numb at this point, because also, if you listen to the podcast, you kind of knew what's like been up with me romantically. I haven't really been on this channel talking about my life like that. It more so sucks because it's just like obviously I want to know like what it is, like why me and stuff. But is it because like my views are so low and am I like being delusional? With being gay there's so much fucking levels to it, like am I too gay, am I not gay enough? Oh. I never thought that, but... And it just sucks because I know I'm such a good person. I'd be such a good partner in a relationship. And just not how I wanted to start my October 1st. So fuck you, you asshole. Like, I told you it was, like, personal and you go and, like, unmatch. Like, just stop answering me because I wasn't going to follow up either. I wasn't gonna be like, uh, what did you think? Like, if he didn't respond, he didn't respond. But to unfollow me, unmatch me, like, you're disgusting. You're so mean for that. I said it was, like, personal, and you said show me, and I was like, you know what, fuck you. Like, fine. What? I'm not... It's just hard being a content creator, especially when you don't have, like, the views, likes, and the con- Well, I do- like, my reaction channel is doing really good. I mean, it's not- you guys get it, whether you're a creator or not. I'm gonna continue being me. This isn't changing me. I'm not gonna change for this person. That's clearly not my match. And obviously, blah blah blah, I saw who he was before, and it just wasn't meant to be or whatever. This says it was $39. I got this for $13. What the fuck? I better check that receipt. I, it was a very... Oh my god, I wonder if this wasn't even part of the deal. This one says $26. I would never pay that much money for a candle. Like, I knew the bill was high, but... I paid $26 for this candle, which is how much this normally is. But like this one is 26, but I got it for 13. If I knew that, I wouldn't have bought it, but I guess it's because it's so fucking beautiful. All right, so I just, I let that dim my light for the night yesterday. Ruined my October 1st, but this is why I like doing this because I feel like this is like a release of stream of consciousness. This is my kind of therapy vibe. And then I could just, I let it free and I could move forward and that works for me, usually. He was short anyways, like, go fuck yourself, you short fuck. Stop. <laughs> I need someone to protect me. <laughs>
Did I tell you guys I'm getting the pumpkin chai latte right now? I'm gonna place that order. Cleaning ladies are coming, so I'm gonna put my sheets in the wash. Then I'm gonna go get this pumpkin spice latte. I'm gonna listen to my book. I'm probably gonna finish it today. Got a GUA Doctor Who reaction. I have to edit a Doctor Who video. I really wanna fucking finish editing my vlog. I don't have enough time in the day. I'm a good person. And we're back. So, I mean, I like, I love uh, chai tea, but I don't know, it tastes kind of the same. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was a custom order, maybe I picked the wrong thing. And even this, it's not very pumpkin-y. Not bad, though. All right, I'm gonna chill for like 30 minutes, an hour maybe, and start filming. So proud of myself. I just got my workout in. I did the two episodes back to back. I'm gonna make some turkey, bacon, and eggs because it's 12.23 and I haven't ate yet. Then I'm gonna edit the first episode of season three and upload it. It shouldn't take me that long, less than two hours, I think. So hopefully I still feel creative to do something. The pool's kind of calling my name right now, but maybe I could go in later, I don't know. No, probably not because I'm gonna shower. Guys, I'm so freaking drained. <sighs> I want to make so many videos. I miss my main channel, like what I'm doing right now. But with these reaction videos, it's like, how the hell am I going to have time to edit and even have the energy to sit down and talk about shit? Like, I'm trying to be aesthetic here, but this is just not aesthetic video, I guess. I got a hat from Dairy Boy, a recent YouTuber I'm obsessed with, influencer, whatever. Paige Lawrence. I wish I could hire an editor for my reaction channel. Cute. Thank you. Your support means everything to us. We hope you love your new items as much as we love making them. Love, Paige and the Dairy Boy team. Cool. I love it already. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm not really a hat person. With doing a reaction video and videos in general, when my hair grows out, I've been wearing them. And I don't have stuff like this. Obviously, I need to let's fix it. I look weird on camera with that, but like better in person. Like it looks small on me. I feel like it was so big. Well, it's tall. But tall. It's Alright, happy Thursday, bitches. I'm in a way better mood than yesterday. I gotta stay off the apps. They put me in such a bad freaking place. My biggest thing is I like to not message people first because I'm like, okay, they're interested enough to message me, so let's give it a moment. But then that doesn't work either. Whatever, we talked about that yesterday. I'm feeling much better now. I'm also kind of bummed because I want to be writing my book and editing my vlogs and I'm just, I, I I love doing my reactions, but I just wish it didn't take so much time either. And 
I did this to myself and I'm also like was just bummed that my Agatha reactions aren't getting a lot of love, especially because I think this is my favorite show of 2024. I should just stop reacting to it, just enjoying by myself. I don't want to give up on the people that are enjoying it because the show is so fun and like just so my vibe and I would think it would go with my aesthetic of my channel and it's just like, oh my God. But that being said, the show that started it all, Heartstopper, has arrived. So I think I'm gonna react to the first two episodes and I'm gonna like post it weekly so it kind of like puts me ahead. And then I could kind of react to two episodes every other week. For today, I want to film, edit, and upload Heartstopper season three, episode one, all in one day because I need to be getting it out there before everyone else does. So that's the drill today. Hopefully I could do some writing today. I haven't worked out in days. I think I worked out Monday. Did I work out Tuesday? I don't think so. And I'm trying to do at least three days a week. So I still have two more days at least. And then like I wouldn't fail my working out goals, but I really want to do four days a week. And I'm also weighing myself and I don't see the number going down and I'm not even weighing myself every day. Bought factor meals and so hard living at home and just not being able to stick with the diet because I'm not gonna not eat the food that's around me. And with doing the reactions and editing, like I don't have it in me to cook and just, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna go film. I'm really excited for this. So I hope I just, I hope I just have energy still after it, after the filming, editing, and uploading. Luckily it's just 32 minutes. I checked the runtime. It should be a little bit of a quicker edit but TBD. Currently on episode three. The show is so freaking wholesome and so freaking cute. Tao is so cute. Three, two, one, play. That's how I have to sync it. Back to the reaction. It is Friday night. I'm about to take my second tequila shot when I realized, I really fucking ruined that, when I realized that I didn't even vlog today. It's been a crazy week. I got everything done on my schedule and I did everything I wanted today, including worked out. I worked out yesterday, I worked out today. Now I just have to make sure I do it tomorrow and the next day. But yeah, let's go take another tequila shot. Happy freaking weekend. Hi. Hey, Brainy. Huh? Hello. 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 Big crunch up. Happy Saturday. I can't believe I've been really good with this vlog. Not that I've done a lot. I've just been wanting to make this video for a long time, except I thought I'd be doing more like B-roll of me editing. I did like nothing. I feel like all my videos are falling flat. Speaking of, I wanna work on my vlog. I'd love to post it tomorrow. I'm getting my new favorite Starbucks coffee shortly. I just wanted to make this the pecan crunch whatever. Today I want to do the vlog. I'd really like to film my TBR for fall but then also my September wrap up for my book so as much as I'm like yay I still have more to do but like today is a bit more of fun more fun work. I'm actually dog sitting this coming week. Yeah like what is the value of this video? I mean stop shut the fuck it's to follow your dreams, you stupid bitch. I really fucked with this pimple. It wasn't even a pimple, it was like a scar from a pimple and now it's like a scar. I need to put Mederma on it, I, I guess. Today's goal is to finish my really nice aesthetic vlog, film something for it to not make it fall flat, I'm doing like a whole voiceover and <laughs> I want to do my September wrap-up and I want to do my TBR. What the fuck, Billy? 
I mean, it might spill into tomorrow. I realize since I'm watching the dog tomorrow, I really should like start <laughs> reacting again. So tomorrow I might react to Agatha all along and then the two next episodes of Heartstopper. And then Monday I want to react to Queer as Folk and, and Doctor Who. And then I believe I watched the dog Gracie on Tuesday to Saturday. So then that whole week I'll edit. And like to make myself not go crazy, I'm not even gonna edit them to like my Patreon, I think, and just start doing it until Monday. Which this week was a lot. Usually I react like three times a week. I did five. Which I, it's, just, it's usually I have it where I react and then I edit on other days like I was reacting and editing on the same day. It's not even that it's like crazy or I'm complaining like I actually love it. It took away time for me doing other things. Like now I haven't written my fantasy book since I think Monday or maybe been Sunday. Um, I didn't get to work on the vlog. This vlog is just talking head. Like I didn't even, oh I guess I did a little bit behind the scenes when I was filming, which is fun. But I didn't show you my office bed. It's my brother's room, but he hasn't lived here ever. Like he went to college when we moved here. So he was in a dorm and now he's in like, he's graduated already. He was only in a dorm for the first two years and then he like lived in like a townhouse. With my editing, I usually just edit like over on the couch or in my room. And I really like switching up environment, so. I've been editing and writing in my brother's room. You guys, if you watch my video, you know if I get up to help her up, then she's all of a sudden gonna be able to jump up. I'll help you. Stay there. If I didn't tell her that I'd help her, she would have jumped. That's the plan. I'm gonna order Starbucks now. I'm gonna clean the kitchen. I'm gonna do a little clean up, clean up everywhere. My parents come back from St. Thomas today. We sold the condo officially. My sister, if you don't know, she's a customs officer and she lived in St. Thomas for like two or three years. And she's been back here since early summer. My parents went there the one last time to tie up loose ends. And my sister is going there next weekend for her last hurrah. St. Thomas, we out. My book just came of my favorite woman and birthday twin, Eliza Dishku. Love her so much. Really interesting. She had a lot of trauma and she started taking psychedelics and it like cleared her and now she's on this whole journey. I don't know if I'm there, but it's again, really interesting to think that it can clear past trauma. So I don't know if I have trauma or not, honestly. So I'll be reading. Going to a moonlight diner, wearing Dairy Boy hat. Fully back on my vlogger journey. First time wearing these. I saw John Duff wearing these, so I had to wear these. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh my god. Alright, happy Sunday, final day of the vlog. There's an early morning football game. So, my aunt and uncle are going all out. All the fall stuff, so cute. I feel like I might have messed with the settings on this. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in your best interest. So, how do your management fees work? I fish for you. Billy, do you want me to make you a pumpkin? Yes, please. Do you like pumpkin or vanilla cream? Do a little of both. Oh! <laughs> please. Okay. Babies, what are you doing in here? Look at the babies. Babies. Look at those three little bears. Hey, good boy. <laughs> You look cute. You look cute, little boy. Uh, oh my gosh. Love it. <laughs> This vlog really turned up at the end. <laughs> I'm taking in the pool out today. Yeah. You only got the 